welcome back to Ill Eagle Culture Brands Talk. I am your host, John Ostos, aka Ill Eagle CEO. I'm here with my two counterparts, Dion, Two Cup Larry, and Cody Big Meat Malk. I never got two cups anymore. Now I got just yeah. one can. He's got a can of root beer. <laughs> <laughs> This I stuff is hurting white. I gotta start putting our, our titles on the thing, huh? Like yeah. our names and shit. Yeah, this yeah. stuff is literally the best diet. So I you fucking can love A and W Yeah. Like yeah. that's it's and cream soda. Didn't they used to have an A and W restaurant here? Yeah. Yeah. They did, huh? Yep. Back, yeah. Way and back Long John day. Silver's it was. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. University. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's Disgusting. Dope. So what's going on? Uh I don't know. Dion's in a hurry, huh? You moving? Ah, uh, my moving? brother's moving. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Okay. So I'm just trying to be a good sibling, you know, do what I can. <laughs> so, <laughs> a real brother would not show up, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna be fashionably late. You yeah, know? there you go. So, you know, I've done enough, but you know, I can't. Well, I gotta, Cody said if you need help, he'd go. All right. He's the muscle. No, we don't. There's nothing heavy, really. So that's why it's okay. <laughs> Dion's right? like, no, 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 no. Find me one person. It's not a party, though. It's not a party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we getting lit or what? Yeah, we getting litty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, I got responsibilities. You know, I got to take care of today. So, still, you know. But I did want to say today, uh, if everything works out this weekend, I will be engaged after this pod is released. Oh, so shit. hopefully that happens tomorrow if I can make it all work out. Really? So we'll What's see. The- can you say the game plan since it'll be done? Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless it doesn't, we'll have to cut it all. But Just at least it's not cut it out. Yeah, it'll <laughs> yeah. be a small segment that gets cut out. It should be good. It, from what I've understood, like I've got it to Don't work out with her me. friend. It, it, she's going to say yeah, so it's not really a big Imagine deal. Imagine though, she's like, let me think about it. You know, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she's like, uh... I'm not ready. I mean, she's like Cody's married quick. forever, ever, yeah, or there's a like, chance. <laughs> how long is that gonna last? <laughs> is he staying hitched like for good, or should yeah. I wait this? I know out? they have a kid, but like 17 years or what? <laughs> He's always talking about clapping cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. it's so intriguing for some reason. <laughs> Dion thuds at this. Yeah, <laughs> That's true, especially right now. I'm thudding. <laughs> now go ahead, tell the story of this amazing, so, beautiful thing. It's really not going to be anything too crazy um i was planning to go on a hike with her family uh and then i was like ah fuck this like i'm just gonna do it like when i feel the moment is best but then also her friend wants to be there who is a photographer and so she's gonna take pictures just so happens we're all going camping this weekend um so before we go camping because we're going with a lot of her friends and i don't want to do it in front of them it would be just kind of awkward for me um I decided I'll do it beforehand. She's going to have like a special camera lens that she rents for the week. And so we're going to take pictures and stuff. We'll do our engagement photos in Montana. So I was like, this will work out perfect. So we're going to go out to the lake tomorrow night. I don't know how I'm going to get her there. I haven't even really thought too much into it. It's really going to just be like, hey, uh, let's go put the boat in the water for the first time because we haven't done it yet. Her dad just got a boat. I'll be like, hey, let's go put the boat in the water. We need to pick up the griddle for camping and stuff like that, too. So there's some other things I can throw okay. in there. Okay. Uh, and then once we get there, I'll text her friend who lives about 20 minutes away. And she'll come. And when she pulls up, basically, she's going to have to be ready to snap photos. And I'll do it there. So, And it's a pretty nice spot. So it'll okay. be good. But it, it'll be something we'll keep forever because I'm sure we'll have that property for a long time. So should what, be good. What lake? Uh, it's Rossman Erickson. It's a smaller lake connected to like Middle Corn Rock. Oh, yep. Cool. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. It sounds fucking beautiful. Yeah, hopefully it turns hopefully out it works to be out. amazing. Yeah, I was like, I don't really know how to get her yo, out there. He was like, No, I'm certain this is gonna work. He's like, So I don't really have a plan, but yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get out there and just get fucking eaten alive by mosquitoes yeah. or something. Like, no, you. What the, what's gonna really happen is you think you're not nervous. Yeah, but then, then when it comes down to it, yeah, bro, you're, you're gonna, gonna get shit nervous. Break, I, got, I was dude. so nervous. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say like, Will you marry me? But then my brother was like, You can't. You gotta say something. I was like, Really? Like you gotta be like. Life with you or some shit. Yeah, you know, tell a story. <laughs> See, but yeah. then I don't want to be cliche. I don't want to be that guy. So I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, but that's like every girl's dream is. Yeah, is being that. You, guy. you think it's cliche? I know. <laughs> no, but they, being they, that they, guy would be to not do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 They want. They want the fairy tale. Like, you know, the guy on one knee, like. I loved you since the moment I first saw you. <laughs> you know, so, so what you're saying is bullshit. I can't release this one tomorrow night like we did the last one, right? Tomorrow night you should be able to. Oh, okay. She won't watch it anyways, but <laughs> we can't break hey, it. She's, that. she's not a fucking sub, she's, dog. She's so lame, dude. dude. I'm, I'm telling her. She doesn't want to hear your she'll, shit. That's no, what it is. She, doesn't, she knows I'm she's talking crap about her, too. So. 
That's yeah. why Dion says stuff about your lady because he knows his lady don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Until somebody gets that to her. I'm hey, right. It's the same thing with Kate. Yeah. 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 Well, Spencer's going to make an edit of yeah, that one and post that. it. If she heard about me fucking <laughs> talking about <laughs> clapping cheeks. I might get in trouble. <laughs> no, I, it'll. Oh, you could shit. release it whenever, honestly. I, I think we'll be good. Uh, yeah. I mean, it'll probably be in the title. Which will be it'll be fine. It'll happen as long as you wait. I won't like, put it in the title if you don't want me to. Until midnight, like if it's. I'll say Dion bring brought us a surprise or yeah. some shit like that. I'm hoping to do it by seven eight o'clock. So. Right. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm not really gonna release it tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, I so did. I was like, why? <laughs> yeah, there's no point now. <laughs> but I will be gone next week, Cody. So you're gonna have to carry this podcast. Somehow. Yeah, we actually got another guest coming on. Who Woods again? Yeah. How'd you know? Because he, he felt that energy. No, he wanted him really bad. He oh, said he yeah. had a couple things to debate with. Did him, he say so he's coming? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, I spoiled it. We should yeah. bleep it, bleep out his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who? Bleep. <laughs> like it's yeah. all special. Yeah. I mean, it is. Hey, it's, it's him. Right? We're uh, <laughs> we're at the beginning stages of this podcast, but hey, we're gaining traction. Yeah. Every video. I don't. Every video. Man, I. You know what I like about the small support group that we have is they're all real supporters. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You know you what I mean? It. It's just like it. real people that actually want like. Uh, I don't. You, I don't know if you guys know Evan from the gym. Um, yeah. Um, Buligan. Yeah, Buligan or whatever. Um, he tells me that whenever we drop a pod, that him and his wife make a dinner yeah. movie out of it, and they sit down and watch it together. They're, they get excited. They're for good him, supporters. I like yeah. them. A He's lot. like every time you guys drop one, bro, we set up dinner. I'll call them. They just dropped another one. Should I pick up something to eat? And <laughs> they sit down and they watch it, bro. So like what? it's just it's that. I don't. That's all I want to do it for. Then yeah, yeah shit it, like Duffy that. Loves it's like, it too. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the people that I didn't think would listen to it. Yeah, like listen to it, and it's just like when they hear when they come up to me, hey, I listen to your podcast. I'm like. No shit. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> really cool. It is really yeah, cool. That's awesome. It was cool because at the show after the last one we did because we did the whole, you know, our predictions on yeah. the, the OCD. Yeah, those two. Yeah, those yep. guys came up to us yep. at the show and were just like, man, I, I, I did, had nothing else to do but sit around yet last night, so yep. I thought I'd watch the and podcast. I can't believe and, you called me this. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's not even... Like, they said it was funny for the most part, but genuinely, we obviously had some troubles knowing people's names. We don't yeah. talk yeah. to everybody. Well, we don't actually know. stalk these people. We just yeah. recognize these certain individuals from the gym yeah, working because they made their presence known or something. So, exactly. like, yeah, but... Yeah. And I'm like one of those I guys. like calling people by their IG names. Yeah, yeah. 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 Over anyway. <laughs> yeah. I was calling fucking Bo Thor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like one of those guys, like... If you introduced yourself to me, I instantly forgot your name. And I, <laughs> like, I wish I could just re- like remember like certain things about you when you you're, introduce yourself. But it happens to me all the time. Like, as soon as you walk away, I'm like, "Fuck, what is that? What was his <laughs> name again?" And, it, and then I'm like. For the rest of the time I see you, I'm like, "What's up, big dog?" <laughs> so your so name, my man. Your name, he <laughs> calls you big dog. He yeah. doesn't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> your your name, all oh, these little dudes are yeah. like, "Damn!" <laughs> and, and, it, and it gets it gets like embarrassing because like I've done that for like years on some people. Like yeah, yeah. I'll come into the gym and not know your name. I'm just, hey, "What's up, big dog?" And yeah, and then but when it's it's too far. Like you can't be like, wait, what was your name again? <laughs> like if it's like a couple of years, you're especially after you say yeah, nice to meet you. Bad. Yeah, and then you forget right as you walk yeah. away with yeah. it anymore. That's like, like I know I had to ask you a couple of times, like who's whose name it was yeah, I was yeah. talking to. You still like, do. You text me all the time, like, hey, who's that one guy? I'm just like, I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. I'm getting to explain it again. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's what I thought. I want to go talk to him, but I didn't want to look stupid. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of the camping, we I sent you guys a link that said that grizzly bears are really prominent out there right now. Yeah. And uh, an individual yeah. got charged by a grizzly and had to yeah. shoot it. Yeah. Um, really? Cody then said he'd rather fight a mm. gorilla than a bear. This is a highly, highly... No. Contested. Rather fight a bear than a gorilla. You'd rather fight a bear than a gorilla. No, 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 no. I, I would said, rather fight. Yes, I'd rather fight a gorilla. A gorilla will rip you apart. Yeah. So would a bear. And, no, a bear will slice you up a bit, but people have survived that. That would hurt you, way You've never heard a story about too. someone fighting a gorilla and winning, bro. Hold on, hold on. Time out. <laughs> this debate. This is a good topic. This debate <laughs> was oh, like it got fucking heated. A couple of times where I brought this up, like it gets heated, right? Yeah, yeah. But... Um, I chose the gorilla because the gorilla is like 20 times stronger than an average human male. So a bear obviously is a lot heavier and larger. But if that gorilla gets fucking one arm on you, you're fucking done. Whereas a bear, 
they'll more than likely try to swipe at you. Yeah. You know, you have a chance, but you probably can't play dead in front of a gorilla. Either. So a male, the average size of a male bear is between 400 and 1200. So let's say, say 800 or so. Six to, is that six a brown bear or a grizzly? Because brown bears are bigger. That's a brown bear. I don't know why. Brown, you know. No, no, no. Brown bears are bigger than grizzlies. But grizzlies are more dangerous. Uh, Unless it's a true. mother, I think the I think the brown bear is more aggressive than the grizzly is. The from what I understand, the brown bear is gonna generally only protect its like family. Mm-hmm. But it, if there's no family, it's not gonna be as harmful. Grizzlies are are harmful all the time. <laughs> I don't know shit about the wilderness. I don't know, man. City. <laughs> I think I think brown bears like um, are a lot more aggressive. But I could be wrong. I don't know. We had a brown bear come up to us at camp because these guys left food out. I've told John the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the we woke up at like six a.m. The Nicole's friend was sleeping on the far side. She woke up first. She was almost like shocked, so so scared that she froze. But she was able to wake Nicole up. Nicole was like, <laughs> and so Nicole wakes me up. I've got my gun. It's under my cot, and the tent is pushed up against my cot, so I can't even go down to grab it. And I'm sitting here, and I can hear just. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> He's just breathing right next to me, and I'm like, "Oh God!" And so I'm trying not to move. He was prairie dogging. I'm getting ready to jump over to Nicole because I was like, "If he swipes at the tent, like I'm gonna get hit." And <laughs> we made like a slight noise, and he he ran off. We get out, we wake up the other people in the tent, and like 30 minutes later, we had started a fire, started a fire, and just like we were all up at that point, and. All of a sudden, he comes walking around our car about 20 yards away. And we're like, hey, trying to get him to go How away. How big is he? How big is he? He was decently big. It wasn't small, so but it like wasn't a, huge. A, probably a teenager? Probably. That yeah. would be my guess. And he would not go away. And so then this guy luckily had his keys on him and pushed the alarm button on his yeah. car. Got him to run away. It was it was pretty Jesus freaky, Christ. though. We got pictures and stuff. It was really cool. There was a video I just watched. Um, it was on rogan's podcast but it was a couple of guys on a motorbike uh dirt bike and they fell off and then there was a bear charging them and the guy that fell off the dirt bike started revving his his dirt bike up while he was laying on the ground and the and the bear stopped have you seen charging them did oh, one wow. of you guys send the video of the guy snowboarding or the girl snowboarding and they they have their headphones in and they're just darting it down down the hill but they don't know there's a grizzly <laughs> running right behind them oh my god it's, it's the most really? crazy thing ever but you can see it in their camera because they've got a like a gopro on or something uh, yeah. and they're just freaking enjoying themselves <laughs> just ski, <laughs> snowboarding or whatever and there's a grizzly behind it you can see it just like running fucking, it's crazy oh my god could you imagine watching that back and you're, you're like oh i could have died right there easily but also since you said that so have you ever seen the guy who was out i think he was snowmobiling as well or he was hunting one of the two and he ran into a bear the bear had sliced him up like really good mm-hmm. but he was able to kill it with his revolver mm-hmm. but he like he made it and he drove back himself i'm pretty positive but he like obviously he's deformed now yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how you would want to live like, I'd rather fight a gorilla than, than the bear. Bro, dude, and I die. got kids. I don't want to be a martyr for nobody right hey, now, bro. Dude, have you seen that video? <laughs> Go you... ahead and leave your, your girl hanging. I don't care. Bro, but I no way. I would, rather, I would rather take my chances living than just have a gorilla just grab me and just rip <laughs> just me rip in half, arms, bro. Yeah. No thanks. Dude, they can, like, fucking... I can't remember if it was, like, they could... Their force of uh, them smashing, smashing or biting or whatever, but it's like something ridiculous. They, act, I think their their bite force is actually a lot more than a bear's bite force, too. Um, but there was this video of this guy, this group of people. They were they must have been out there observing gorillas, and then the guy that was their tour guide was uh, probably from he was he had a fatigues on. I think he was from the Congo or whatever. But the gorilla walks by him. Grabs him by his pant leg, and with I've seen no effort, go. no effort, just, just drags casually him, yeah. drags him. Well, with no effort, like he's not going like this. Like he's just walking like this, 
and he's just dragging this dude with no effort. I don't think I've seen and that. He lets him go. The guy just like looks. At him. He's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> you know damn well yeah. he's got full fucking britches. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen yeah. like oh, videos man. of chimps grabbing people through the cages. Yeah, and, like they they. they well, you hear yeah. stories of chimps like people who raise them and think that they're their best friends yeah. until yeah. they get older, and then they go crazy one day yep. and they rip people's faces off and like do all this crazy so stuff, that's, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. You just said that because that. This popped up on my news feed. It was that lady. Uh, her name is Char something. But she was friends with a lady that had uh, raised a chimp. And he was a pretty old chimp too. But for some reason, this day, um, they were out front of their house, I believe. And she had grabbed one of his toys to bring inside. And he saw that. And I guess like that sparked some sort of like aggressive behavior and he tore her the fuck up she, he bit off i think yeah. all of her fingers Ooh. um he bit she he bit off her nose and she was missing a part of her cheek and um at her lips i'm not gonna she, live bit off, yeah didn't they do like a, a face transplant so they, on her eventually they did too. a face yeah. transplant and um they did what they could but she looks fucked yeah, up yeah. Jeez. Yeah, so chimps chimps are fucking nasty. They're not pets, bro. Dude. They're not pets. No. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how cute you think they are in the beginning stages. They are not pets. No, I don't yeah. even like getting scratched by my dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, chimps are fucking scary. But uh, they are cute when they're little, though. They are, yeah. <laughs> you see those little ones with the baby diapers? And yeah, like, but they're still so much stronger than like regular strong. babies. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they're super strong. It's yeah. crazy how fast they can like walk. It's like it's it's only a few months and they're walking like regular. It's weird. Mm-hmm. So what else do we got? So her name's gonna be Nicole Larry. Uh, I'm not gonna take her last name. So <laughs> <laughs> and she could hyphenate it if she wanted. But what's I'm, her last name right now? Bentley. Bentley. That's right. Yeah. 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 Nicole Bentley Larry. Nicole. I, I don't Bentley. think she's gonna. She, she might do that. I do, I doubt it. I mean, but Bentley's kind of a cool ass name, actually. It yeah. is, but my yeah. kids won't take her last name. My bro. kids will, yeah. Dion Bentley. What? No, hey, speaking of, what do you think about uh, dudes taking females' last names? I like this topic too. Oh, uh, nah, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What's you your opinion that? on what if uh, she's like more, more uh, like higher status? You know, like so what? Like her family has more to carry on than yours. Then what? I mean. Traditionally, they, it's up to the male to carry on the name, yeah, not the female. So I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's just a personal opinion. I just don't. I think fuck no. Yeah. How about you, Cody? I think that's a cuck move. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> I think it's, it's, a, it's a a lack of beta, situation. I think that's a beta cuck soy boy. Yeah. Move. Yeah, no, I I wouldn't personally do it. I don't have anything. I mean, if it were like, one I don't of my have friends, anything against if yeah. someone else wants to. Yeah, no, nah, I do. I if guess. it were my it, friend, like I'd be like, weird. bro, it's come weird. on, yeah, it's you're weird. You're gonna weird. do that, yeah. you know? See, but, yeah, but if someone <laughs> does it, like that's their choice and whatever, I get that part of it. But yeah, you're right. If it was like a, one of my boys or something, I'd clown the shit out of oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't do it. though. This kind of goes back into this toxic masculinity conversation because what about if a chick asks you to marry her? Like, what if Nicole just said, you know what, motherfucker, this, he's taking too long. I got down no. on one knee and said, Dion? No. <laughs> you would say no? I would say no. She knows that, too. She really? would not do that. No way. Mm. You'd say yeah? If Kate, if you guys would have went back, you, Cody's Kate eagle you. would love that shit. He'd be like, "Fuck yeah, yeah, it's me." <laughs> but then you got to tell people. I feel like that. Cody would unbuckle his pants before he acknowledged what was really going on. <laughs> <laughs> She'd get down on one knee. He'd be like, "What? Right? Here. Oh shit! Everyone's watching." Nice. Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I would just the whole toxic masculinity. I feel like that's so why. you would wait. You're not even going to answer that. Would I? Would you say yeah, dude? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you wouldn't take her last name? No, nope. That's weird. I I just think that's a bitch move because, um, as a man, you are there, you know, to provide for your family, protect your family, and it's always been the wife taking the name of the male. Yeah, but then it's also the man. And this is super sexist, but this is like before time, before like now. <laughs> if you're going to say this, you got to follow up with why the women do dishes. 
I, yep. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, uh, listen, so when, like, before now, obviously, men are taking the daughter from the father. That's why we would propose to them. Yeah. So if she proposed to you, that's her taking you from your mom <laughs> and anything. <laughs> I mean, they they do say that it, maybe it's more biblically than anything, but you got to break the mommy womb. What? The, what? Yeah, you got you got to cut the umbilical cord at cut some point. The cord. It, it's a mama's boy thing, you know. Like yeah. eventually, you have to do that too. So who's to say one's right or wrong? <clears throat> I mean, history, I'm just playing the yeah, devil's advocate. History, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Cut the if cord. If he's gonna use that, if as history an rules, then why don't we have slaves still? <laughs> Come on, Dion. Yeah, Dion. Make it make sense, D- D- we, I yeah, mean, Dion. We're a slave to the government, kind of. <laughs> That's not kind of. It's yeah. true. That is definitely yeah. true. So, all right. What then. do you guys think about... Um, have you guys been watching the news lately? No. Uh, I've you, been watching quite a bit. Did you? Have you been following the Daniel Penny uh, mm. case at all? What's that? The Marine veteran that put that other dude in the chokehold, Jordan Neely? No. Uh-uh. I don't even know what that's about, actually. Okay, so there's this guy, Jordan Neely, black guy, and then Daniel Penny, white guy, Marine veteran, and um, several other passengers. This happened on the train in New York City. Okay. Um, now, this is hypothetical. This is only what I heard off of the news. So, obviously, there hasn't been um, the court case yet, so we haven't heard all the evidence. But from what I heard is Jordan Neely is very, very mentally unstable, and he's had 43 prior arrests oh. to include punching a 60-some-year-old lady in Jeez. the face, right? He sounds like the perfect candidate for some wokeness. Okay, so he gets on the train, and he starts telling people that he's going to fucking kill him. Oh, my gosh. So Daniel Penny takes him down, puts him in a chokehold, and he's holding him there, right? Meanwhile, there's this other passenger... So I was confused. The black guy was the one saying he was going to kill somebody. Yeah, Jordan okay. Neely's, yep, and he's the guy. one with the with the uh, mental illness. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yep. And so um, Daniel Penny, Marine veteran, puts him in a chokehold. They're laying on the ground. Now this other passenger is a black guy. He's sitting on the dude's knees, trying to hold him down because this guy is just like fighting him the whole time. <laughs> right? He's fighting him the whole time, and. Eventually, the dude died. Okay. So, this Jordan Neely guy died. So, that dude was choking him out the whole time? Not just holding him or what? I, he says that he saw his chest rise and fall. So, we don't know. But the autopsy report came out and said that it was asphy- asphyxiation yeah. of the neck. Right? Yeah. So, they uh, indicted him, Daniel Penny, with, uh, I think it was second degree manslaughter. That's... So mm, that's a tough one. That is tough. That is super tough. Um, that's a tough one. So all the, there's going to be the, uh, supposedly there's a lot of passengers are on there. Did that, the, did the guy have a weapon? They don't know. I don't know. I mean, because I, I get that there's some good arguments I'll, here. Yep. But I feel like they would have on, to show there has proof to be a of, threat of threat. Yep. Other than I'll, someone I'll, saying I'll it, get yeah. to my story. That's something similar that happened to me. But uh, so. He was arre- or He got arrested, and he's going to be in charge with second-degree second degree manslaughter. Now, what's going to happen in the court case? I have no idea. But let me tell you guys just my story and how I kind of view it, right? Uh, Kate and I were, she was visiting me when I was in D.C. the second time. So in 2018, we were taking the tram to downtown, and we're sitting there, and there was only three other passengers in the car and there was this long stretch between stops needless i i didn't realize but there was in the other side of the car there was a homeless dude and this motherfucker was big he was big like he was fucking six six four hundred pound four five hundred pounds Jeez. huge <clears throat> had no shoes on um smelled like shit because he was I think he shit himself. Like he had a stain on his backside. So anyways, I saw him stand up and he's going up to each of the passengers going like this to their head. Right? So the aisle was right here and Kate was sitting next to the aisle and I should have fucking switched right away. 
But I sat there like I had one knee on my on the seat and then one knee on the floor. And I'm sitting here. I have my sunglasses on and I'm watching him like just staring at him the whole time, just making sure. Right. But he went up to every one of the passengers and they just sat there like this. You could tell like everybody was fucking st- terrified. Right. So I'm sitting here like I don't know if I had to fucking jump, jump this motherfucker. You know, you never know. Right. Yeah, yeah. So he gets up to Kate, doesn't shoot Kate. <clears throat> But he shoots me twice. He goes up to me and goes like this. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's Skip, fucked up. He fucking skips K, right? And then he goes on the back of the tram. Goes, oh, starts banging. He starts banging on the door. Oh, fuck, fuck. Starts screaming. I was like, Kate, get out. We're going to go to the other side of the, of the train car. We go to the other side of the train car. Well, I forgot that that's where he was fucking sleeping. Saw his sleeping bag there. And then this motherfucker comes back and then starts doing the same thing on the other side of the car where we're at. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Finally, the car stops and we get the fuck out, right? Yeah. But the moral of the story is, I don't know if this motherfucker has a knife or, or any kind of weapon. He could have. Yeah. He could have went up to somebody and just went... <clears throat> Right in the neck. Just yeah. stabbed a motherfucker. Mm. You know? You just never know. Right. But but no one felt threatened enough to kill him. Well, he wasn't trying to attack anybody. I don't know if this guy is yeah. trying to attack somebody. So, so the, I guess the question would be, is it more of a threat for somebody to verbally say they're going to kill you or for someone to walk up to you? And yeah. It wouldn't be enough for like self-defense. I mean, that's why he's yeah. getting manslaughter, though. He's not getting... He's not getting... I don't know murder. if, like, he put... Yeah. Hand, I don't know if he put hands on anybody. Yeah. Or if he physically touched anybody. That would be a, a big... He deal. must not have, though, because they would have charged him... Well, I don't know. That's that's a It's tough, a tough one. Yeah, I don't know how to play... I, I, I Unfortunately, and I think it, this is half good, half stupid... Unfortunately, you have to be an attorney to really know the difference here. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a law that protects them and protects the other. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, this is, a, I don't know. I don't know enough facts or the details, and I don't know what the facts and details actually mean to the situation. But if somebody it, said they were going like, to kill you and they didn't like do anything, like you wouldn't be able to kill them. Right. You know right, what I mean? right. Yeah. So it, you uh, would have to prove you really felt threatened, though, too. And I, I guess that's a subjective. And then for a bystander so, but, to do but that. But here's the like, thing. But here's the thing. There was a lot of passengers on there that, yeah. that are witnesses to what everything that happened. So it should be a pretty kind of corroborated. Like, yeah, this my life was my I felt threatened. Yeah, That's kind of what I got out of the witness. And where was this at? In New York City, New York. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's I mean, fucked. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's definitely he's fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's fucked. Yeah. But, um, it, you know, that sucks because, like, I don't know if in that situation, like, if that dude were to, like, try to harm one of us. Yeah. You know, but it, I, again, that would be self defense if he actually did something. Yeah. Right? So, I, it's, it's a tough call. I mean,. <clears throat> It's not worth killing him. Obviously, he probably didn't intentionally See, I don't, I don't do that. Know. You know? That's know, the like, other thing is that I think that they have to prove it was intentional, maybe yeah, too. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, like, yeah. but I think both sides have a. But the, pretty there's a video. Fight. There's a video out there too. They're on the laying on the ground, and there's a dude that's sitting on top of his legs trying to hold him, and then Jordan's like going like this, swinging his arms and everything. So, Jesus. yeah, I don't get why this world's got to be so messed up. It's nuts. Yeah. yeah. We're, there's so much crazy shit going on. Yeah. Lots of crazy shit. You but see, anyways, moral of the story is <laughs> don't kill somebody if you have to <laughs> choke well, over. Well, well, just imagine if everybody was like, you know, trained in MMA. Yeah. That's to, true. To yeah. subdue somebody. You know stop I mean? a lot of harm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, there'd also be a lot of bullshit, though, too. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> people breaking yeah. arms. <laughs> it's a, it's like the, arm it's like the same, the same s- story of like, you know, the, the kid that grew up getting bullied and shit became a cop and got a gun yep. and turned into a fucking, you know, vigilante or a fucking, you know, asshole. crooked cop and yeah. asshole and shit. You know, like, it's one of those situations. If everyone knew how to fight MMA, MMA there'd be motherfuckers out there choking people out for nothing. Mm-hmm. Starting fights just because they felt like they wanted to fight. <laughs> there is know? people that are. No, like, but I mean, not, like, more. But yeah, there'd be a ton more. High rate, yeah. Yeah. I, I mm-hmm. was wondering, how do you guys feel about, so, like, we're pretty much nearing that point where it's going to be, like, Joe Biden's last ditch effort to, like, get votes here. And obviously there's one thing he hasn't done that he, well, he's, there's a lot he hasn't done, but there's one thing that he hasn't done that he is trying to do, which is the student loan thing. 
Oh, that, that they, were, they already announced the the end date is in October. August, yeah, end of yeah. October, so beginning of August. But they haven't decided on the canceling student loans yet. They still have to. The That's Supreme, get shot down. Supreme Court has to go through it, and then Republicans. It's, it was all. It was all virtue signaling. He was. Yeah, never yeah. Gonna he do was it. never going to do it. He, they still got to vote on it. No, it's never going to pass. Not. They've had to vote so, on a lot of things that they just shut down because they knew it was all just part of a distraction. But know? that's the thing that so so Joe Biden's just going to go out like this. That's it, bro. Even the Democrats don't want him to win no more. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're done using him. But it's they fucked are. up. Yeah. It's fucked up. They're done they're using not him. giving. They're not giving Robert Kennedy a shot either, though. Yeah, like they don't want Biden, but Biden is their best chance to do what they want. Yeah. So yeah, they, they don't have any. Imagine else. Trump and Robert Kennedy team up. Mm. I would like a yeah. I mean, I would like a Trump and uh, Robert Tulsi, Kennedy, Tulsi Gabbard, but Robert Kennedy is like John F. Kennedy's uh, nephew or something. Nephew. Nephew. Yep. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. So he's been uh, he's been going on a lot of podcasts, but they're actually censoring him now. Yeah. So he every time that he talks about he's a certain, Republican. Democrat. He's a Democrat. Democrat. So every time oh, he's, he's not one of them. But he's Democrat. not one of them. Yeah. He's definitely uh he has his theories on what happened to his uncle and he has his theories about the vaccine situation yeah. and mercury in our water and which um a lot of his theories are more than likely true. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, for instance, like um kids today, there's one one in thirty six or so are diagnosed with some sort of autism. Yeah. And that's a really high rate. That is that extremely is. high. Yeah. But everybody that that you tell that to, they're like, no, nah, that's a conspiracy theory. It's not has nothing to do with vaccines. But what is one thing that's happened in the last twenty years, thirty years compared to prior to is the amount of vaccines that kids get nowadays yeah. has fucking tripled. They have fucking tripled from the 60s to the 80s. It like doubled, you know. Yeah. So that's one thing that, and and pharmaceutical companies, they're protected. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, obviously they don't care. Seen. All they care about is making money. They they don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about grandma. They don't give a fuck about your baby. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is the bottom dollar. And they are 100% protected in every single way. It's so, because they give a lot of that money to the politicians. Yeah. To oh, yeah. It goes, it's like a backdoor yeah. deal. Yeah. It's a backdoor deal. 100%. And and COVID was like, oh God, can we say COVID on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think so. And they just. Yeah. They I thought said that they was for gonna... elections. I don't know. I think it's both. Whatever. Honestly. So anyways, but COVID was a, a huge, like they made fucking trillions of dollars on COVID. Mm-hmm. And they were. 100 percent protected because of that emergency authorization act which is crazy because so many people got sick from it e- even though it did help some people yeah but it a lot of people there's got hurt proof that it. it actually helped people though is but it? they don't feel better they they were lying placebo does that. <laughs> exactly i know that's the point <laughs> they, put the, they put the fear in them but they took it out after when they wanted they were to. lying yeah dude they were lying from fucking day one they said they said Get the vaccine because it protects you and you. Yeah. But it doesn't do either of those it things. Was, it was, and I've seen like so many podcasts and stuff on it. So I was like, mm. not really worth it to get back into, but yeah, I'm no, going to no. because they said they're like, but nah. it, that shit pisses me off though. I mean, we were fucking forced. And here to goes get episode two. Exactly, to get no, but <laughs> you, you say exactly what they said to us. Like when, when COVID was going on, like start saying that to people now, like, yeah. are you vaccinated? Yeah. <laughs> like, like people would be like, what? <laughs> Why? Like, <laughs> Well, yeah. the, in a weird way, they're still pushing it. I even saw a new one. I still see commercials. Yeah, I saw it. a new one uh, um, about 2025 about this new vaccine that's coming that Bill Gates is oh, oh sure, God, yeah. helping implement again. Yep. It's, I don't know, bro. This is It's just crazy. Everything feels like um, Dude, how it's Bill a distraction. Gates, how is Bill Gates like? Does anybody like that guy? He's a scientist, still? dude. I don't think it matters with dude, the kind of been, money he has. He's been yeah. like extremely exposed <laughs> yeah. to the max. Yeah, but but his it's like pharmaceutical. He's got to be the most hated guy. It's right like now. pharmaceutical though. He's putting his money in everybody's pockets, so they can't do shit. Yeah, it's like it's like the they're saying about the same the, with the corporate businesses, bro. 
Yeah. The the banks have control of them. The banks are owned by BlackRock and all kinds of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like when you go to these banks to get these loans renewed and all this shit, they're like, mm-hmm. yeah, but you got to follow these rules or forget it. Yeah. And then yeah. you got to give us all that money back right now. So mm-hmm. it's like that pressure they're putting on people, right? They're saying, hey, oh, this all stops if you don't play the game. And so everyone what? has to play the game. Same. Bill Gates is doing the same they thing. They 100% sure. compromise that motherfucker. At in Epstein's Island, they fucking compromised. Oh, got some fucking. We never even talked about that. That uh, what was it? All the women that were sexually abused that they that came forward. Oh yeah, they just settled. They just did a settlement instead of actually going to court. That was wild. Yeah, like interesting. To to a couple hundred millions, a couple hundred million dollars. Over uh, what was there like twenty women? Or so, so there's two separate out. ones that are going. Would on. you that's take? First would one. you take a settlement, or would you want to say no? These motherfuckers can never get away. I don't with this. think that's an option. And there's still people running around. You know what I mean? I don't think that's an option. What do you mean? I don't they think probably the told them. They probably option. told them you either settle or you fucking die. Yeah, be a martyr for it, or you're just gonna be that one person. They're gonna tell you you're gonna be that one person that goes out there and no yeah. one's gonna. They're in control you. of everything. You're gonna be crazy. They're in control of everything. That's what they do to people. Speak, about speaking aliens. of distractions too, and aliens. Yeah, we just had an alien land mm-hmm. and we caught this shit on video. Uh, apparently, the Vegas. Have you one? got? Yeah, have you guys seen the footage? The backyard footage. It was mm-hmm. a. It was a bright green light that you could see going. Across no, but have you seen the footage from the backyard? Just, uh-huh. just from the cop. Just from the cop no, okay, interview, you've no. missed a whole. Really, he sent, he sent us yeah. one, but yeah, there's so more. Check, so there's more, and people are dissecting it now too. And there's what's a, the footage from though? A it, ring video. So, so no. So check this out. When that shit happened in Vegas, and the cop got it on his fucking body cam, there was immediately a nine one one call from people saying that something crash landed in their backyard. backyard yep. and they're looking at it and they're saying it's like an eight or ten foot. I don't know. It has big eyes. Like honestly, the only way to explain it, it sounds like an. It looks like an alien. Yeah. Right. Now there's they one of them had a cell phone on them right and so there's these two guys walking it's like the dad and and some, the son but they got guns on them and they're going outside of their backyard gate where they have like a forklift and shit in in you know a shop area behind their house and they're they're walking out and all of a sudden the dad pauses and he's looking and then they backed up real quick and he's like no 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 go back in and they're like what's going on and they're like there's, there's it's a creature there's something out there like it doesn't look normal. And that's what when they decided to call nine one one. But they're out there with guns, bro. And they here's the trippy part. They said, and you can see this on the camera now. This could all be bullshit, right? We're so used to bullshit, bro. But and let's keep in mind, like the reality of what they're about to what I'm about to tell you. They said they walked out and looked out there. They saw what they saw, and as they backed up and turned back around, they said it was blurry. They couldn't see good anymore. Like the like the, their eyes were blurry. The, no, the their area vision. there that they were looking into their vision. The the just, no, just the, the area where the aliens was supposedly at was all blurry. Like they said that it, for some reason it was blurry. That's fucking trippy. Yeah, and so they got this footage though, bro. And and it, there's there's like some footage where it looks like distorted. And everyone's like, of course they recorded it on a potato, like every UFO sighting. Yeah. You know, no, there's actual like high quality footage out there it's just been distorted by the people sharing it but there's high quality footage that you can go see bro i can't see a fucking thing there's like they're like <laughs> they're circling it and they're like right here there's big bug eyes. and i'm like i'm zooming in and i'm like this is bullshit there's nothing it's right there. here dude. and they're like look in the square in the circle and i'm just like there's nothing fucking there I, i've watched the video a hundred times <laughs> i've paused it i've zoomed i put this shit in my fucking editor bro and i've tried to fucking you know enhance it and fucking no bro there's nothing there so uh, unless it's like an illusion that they're able to put on everyone else trying to see it I'm not seeing it. There's another guy, though, who said who pulls up the video and he's been dissecting it like crazy. And he found what he said looks to be an eyeball peeking through the bottom of the fence where they're all standing at the gate in the in the doorway. Right next to him. And then, the you know, there's the panels and right next to them, you can see an eyeball looking in. You can see what looks to be like a foot underneath the fence and fingers coming through the fence in between the, the panels. And and when they get closer, it backs up, stands up, and the hands slide up. The thing you can see the fingers. That looks like more real evidence than what they're like telling you. Like a person, you. or did a, you see you know, that also, on the video? Yes, that I can see, and it looked fucking creepy because all you can see is this crazy bug eye, and you know, and the guy kind of outlines what it would look like if you're following the vision that you can see there. Dude, that's some signs, bro. Shit. Like it's nuts, it's nuts. But this is like the realest fake thing they've ever pulled. To convince us, yeah. right? But the, the weird part is we've been saying this for a while now, too, about Project Bluebeam and all that shit, bro. Like, 
And we said, watch, they're going to start exposing stuff to us to normalize it, to get us ready for the big show. And it's like they're doing it. It's like they're preparing us for the big show. That's wild. Yes, it's wild. So your your belief is that, well, I, I mean, we talked about it. Yeah. But your belief is that the government's going to fake a alien invasion? It's not so much my belief. It's it's some of the videos I've seen. Like the first one I ever saw about Project Bluebeam was the, the old video of that old man from like the fucking 60s yep. who said he was one of the heads of the project. That's terrible quality. He said he was one of the heads of the project and he explained the entire project and he said it was coming in 2024. Okay. Yeah. Now I heard there's another version of what Project Bluebeam is. One is the alien invasion that's going to be, you know, a fake alien invasion. But the other is the second coming of Christ. That'd be cool. That would be their other fake thing that they pull on us to try to gain mass control of the world. That'd be hard because not a lot of people even yeah, believe. I, don't know, man. I feel like I feel like if aliens did come, they'd be coming to save us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, at this well, point, it's like, how could they hey, be so dangerous? So, you know? so this is an interesting point that, uh, again, I watch a lot of Joe Rogan, <laughs> but they, no were they were talking about this on his podcast. <laughs> They're like, why, if aliens are so techno technologically advanced, then why haven't they made their presence known to us? Well, it's the same reason why. Well, they did, but, but it's, the same, it's the same reason why um, people observe chimps out in the wild like every now and again they'll just pop out and see what the chimps are you know doing but they just observe them from afar yeah and let them do what they're doing let them do just, their monkey business and just observing yeah. right yeah. so they're not they're not they're <laughs> so not that's what we are we're a bunch of fucking baboons <laughs> yeah they're not the they're not interfering at all with right. the, with the you it's know, the, the same truth. concept of that though yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the same yeah. concept they're, they're, just too. they're just observing and they have been for since we were until they start murdering us so, and taking so, our skin. But remember, so now there's the the whole theory about like ancient Samaria and that aliens had come back then and explained things to to you know the the civilizations of that time. Which, they have been what is that Iraq or some shit? Yeah, yeah. So like you know that's where pyramids and all that stuff came from. That's where all that mm -hmm. technology. So like when we say that there is potentially more advanced civilization prior to us and that we've just had to start over. Since then, that's probably, you know, that that theory really fucking fits and it works really well Yeah, to think that they've been here and they tried to set us up for success and gave us needs to prolong and, you know, create some kind of civilizations and hence these fucking, you know, mysterious, you know, pyramids and all these other things that we can't figure out how and why and doesn't make sense to the people that are supposedly responsible for it. There's yeah. also hieroglyphics and stuff of. Um, you know, spaceships and things like that written on walls, scribed in, you know, back in ancient Samaria, bro. Like, that's like pretty clear fucking evidence. Yeah. Why yeah. would they draw stuff like that? Right. Why would they do that? We've dissected every hieroglyphic ideology that we could possibly get our hands on, but have completely neglected two things spaceships. Good, right? We will. We know how to read them now. We know how to explain them. We know what that picture means that they hunt. They did this. They did that. But we've completely and explicitly ignored uh, spaceship and, and the little alien bug eyed creatures that they would draw and dragons. They've never drawn dinosaurs on any hieroglyphics, but they drew dragons mm -hmm. from China to Japan to fucking, you know, Egypt everywhere, bro. You, you've even in the in the Mayans, you've seen dragons portrayed in their in their ancient hieroglyphics and you've seen aliens and, and spaceships yeah that's true dude this is i don't mean this to be racist at all yeah, yeah. do people in china like believe in dragon or in not in dragons obviously in dinosaurs but yes they do believe in dragons yeah do they believe in dinosaurs I don't, I don't know if they do as much as our dumb asses do that's crazy to yeah. think about because like bro there's so much more remember the video you sent us the other day the kids in China, or did I send it to you? The kids in China are in school learning how to clean and, and break apart fucking weapons. Yeah. <laughs> and our kids are fucking watching SpongeBob, bro. But, hey, and hey. picking their noses. But, but, hey, but remember, though, like, is that mine? But remember, yeah, the, those motherfuckers, like, when they get older, they get obsessed with video games and fucking die. <laughs> yeah. They but, die playing video games because they're obsessed. I think there's just just like in our civilization, there's a sector of people, people. that 
fall to the wayside. Yeah. But for the most part, the government implementation oh, side goodness. of things of the education system and just like Russia, right? Russian kids are fucking boxing bamboo trees and fucking, wrestling you know, bears. wrestling yeah. and fighting. And, you know, our kids are fucking mm-hmm. eating crap poisoned and yeah. you know what I mean drinking playing poison. video games drinking poison being advertised Mountain Dew and all these like Apes. we're just yeah. so different bro like it, it, the so to say that historically yeah that they they are way more advanced than us but do you think, I think it's a proven thing I think yeah. one of two things can happen and most likely scenario will be the latter but China eventually here if, if we keep fucking with them is going to shut us down. Like their, our technology, they they can destroy us. They could turn it, our internet, everything. People will die and go crazy without internet now. Imagine. Yeah. I'll be fine. But there's people in this world that are going to fucking kill themselves if we have an internet apocalypse. That'd be crazy. Yeah. The yeah. other and more likely scenario is our government's going to do it and pretend it was China, though. Yeah. I would be all right with no internet. I'd be fine. People won't survive, but, but like, look at civilization right now, bro. People will not be able to survive it. Yeah, especially like all these influencers. Well, they and won't stuff. make any money. They won't, no, they won't they have. Know what they they won't have any no, purpose. Only fans, in life. bro. There won't be any purpose in life for these people, bro. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. But, but you, people know that. Yeah. Well, what was that? What I was what I was gonna say was, do you think that uh, because we have so much on uh, knowledge on social media now about living a healthy lifestyle that 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 will turn the tide in i think it was eventually. already you know but, what i mean but this is why the government the has coming up. this is why the government has started trying to um, normalize the uh, the opposing ideology right so like yeah. now they're saying hey overweight morbidly obese people are healthy they're putting them on the cover of sports magazines mm. and they're saying things like beef is bad for you Oh yeah, yeah, that's a big yeah. one. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did they just recently say was a really healthy breakfast too? Like that everyone was going crazy. Uh, like Lucky Charms. It was yeah. like steak and eggs are like two of the yeah. worst things, things you can eat. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, and and they're saying like our crops are bad. They want to make processed food for us. So like, yes, they are aware that people are aware, and so now they're putting in the work to offset that because yeah. the damage they that they're eat bugs. yeah the damage that they're trying to do to us is being undone, and so now they're finding another way to attack it. So they're saying, oh. You're eating red meat yeah. and eggs. <laughs> you should pick up a box of cereal. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, did You're you, gonna die. Did you see that video of Nicole Kidman eating a fucking cricket, and she's like trying to make it sound like it's gonna be fucking amazing? Oh lord, dude! I swear to God. Yeah, she no, was, I didn't see she that. That's not fucking. Bug. She's deep state to the full. Oh, for sure. So. We have so many animals right now. Cruise. Yeah, bro. The, that movie Eyes Wide Shut was them telling on themselves. Yeah, I don't know just, if you've ever seen Eyes Wide Shut with, with uh, uh, Tom Cruise and, and Nicole Kidman. You gotta watch that movie. I told you. I know. About. I haven't done it yet. I gotta get time. But it's a good movie. Yeah, I want to check that out. It's crazy. What movie is um. Cool. Oh, fuck! I can't even remember the name of the movie. It was about the the something quiet, the white supremacist sisters club type thing. Yep, that sounds that's like perfect almost. Let me see here, sisters club. Yeah, soft the, and quiet is the yeah, name yeah, of, the, yeah. of the movie. It's on Netflix. Check it out. It's a uh, it's about a lady who's a teacher and she starts a club with other women from the same area and they are all like it's like a it's like an anti semitic like anti black anti mexican group basically and why would i want to watch this it's just so fucked up it, like it takes you to a place you wouldn't expect it to go it's just like eight women six women and they just freaking so is this a new movie it is newer yeah it's uh of course it is it's it's made uh because uh the white supremacy thing is being fucking elevated to the number one threat to it w- americans it it's was, not even just white even supremacy like that. that's yeah. the threat bro it's white people white people in general <laughs> Shit, that's the crazy this part is like they're not saying racist, only though. white supremacy it's, it's the white people that are saying it no like i know joe biden it's, himself it's the, it's, scared, like, it's the scared the number white one people. threat to democracy is white supremacy he is. He's literally said racist things. Dude, like, he's the one that sponsored the 1994 crime bill. Yeah. <laughs> like, go read the 1994 crime book. Yeah. It locked up more Black Americans than anything else in history. Yeah. That was him. He sponsored yeah. that bill. Yeah. My favorite thing is like, you and know, if you someone, don't vote for him, you ain't black. <laughs> yeah, you know, someone's not racist when they say <laughs> the black people just don't have as much money or <laughs> or computers. Honest, they don't know how to work computers, especially when you're the one fully responsible for that. Yeah, Dude, it's like <laughs> it's like imagine being the person that can make all that a f- change. You know, go into effect 
in these in these poverty like yeah. societies, bro. Like a plan. You're the plan. you're you're the group or the organization of people within the government who can actually yeah. bring an end to this. Like you know, like you did with Ukraine. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you can do that here for way less than you did it for Ukraine. Ukraine, <laughs> right? But instead, they're like, it's fucked up how bad the black people got it. Yeah, and somebody should do something about yeah. that. Knowing vote. damn well the pen's in their hand, bro. Vote but yet people look at that and they're just like, man, that's a good guy. He's, He's trying to do something us. for us. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of going, wait He's a minute, about- aren't you the motherfucker to push the button? Yeah. yeah. And isn't this what's holding us most of us back? Yeah. <laughs> like, at, the, at the end of the day, if you see it for what it really is, bro, it's the divide. They're continuing yeah. the divide. And as long as he keeps talking that shit, he mm-hmm. can keep people divided, right? When he says white supremacy is the biggest problem we have in America, he's telling the truth because he knows he's a problem for yeah. America, bro. Yeah. These people love to to speak in, in, in such a way that they get to say the, the quiet part out loud and everyone will just be dumb enough to think they're talking about somebody else. Yeah. They love that shit, bro. They, and, and it's just been systematically done for way longer than the last three years, but most impressively in the last three years. Yeah, more blatantly, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Say, it's so. nuts, bro. It's nuts. It is pretty crazy. It's, a, it's such a weird time. And, and I really like, bro, the next 18 months of our lives are going to be some of the craziest and in most critical times of our lives or of American history, bro. Yeah. Like this is not even a joke. This isn't even just like, oh, I'm exaggerating and heightening for cinematic value. No, no. dead fucking serious. Between now and the time that the next election happens, we are going to see the most wild, insane shit Americans have ever fucking seen happen even, in this country, bro. I even promise like you, the, just watch and past, remember we said that. The past four years have been, like, in history, when we go 15, we 20... shit yet, though, yeah, bro. 15 to 20 years from now, they're going to talk that up so much, though, and they're going to be like, the government, get, they get, got everyone vaccinated. We we flattened out the curve and it all worked out. We only lost this many people. That's what they'll say. Yeah, I think I think 2020 is going to be like fucking North Korea to World War One in comparison to what we're about to see happen, bro. Mm. No joke. Do you remember when they said that uh, if Trump were to get reelected that we would have been in World War Three? They're going to burn this bitch down before they let him get elected. <laughs> Dude, I'll be surprised if they don't try and keep this motherfucker locked up now. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, well, that's, that's the whole goal. Yeah, that's the whole goal. But, but like, uh, we're, we're, but it's gonna result in some crazy stuff because there's people right now on standby and and out in the streets, fucking petitioning and and marching in name of Trump right now, bro. Yeah. If they continue to run the charade against Trump, it's a wrap. Yeah. The crazy part is the people aren't paying attention. Is and I'm not defending Trump here, bro. I want fucking justice yeah. across the board, right? Somebody that's going to actually but do But what right. they're holding him accountable for right now is the very thing that's being exposed on Biden as we speak and the very thing that Hillary Clinton did, yet they're giving them a pass and going only after him. If that doesn't scream to you, open your fucking eyes, you're being duped, they're lying to us, and they're tricking us and treating us like we're all fucking idiots. Well, they're going after a, his <clears throat> political opponent. That's that's the that's, problem. Well, yeah, that's but no problem. one's seen that, bro. That's the People problem. are literally just going, fucking take him down take finally. Him, get him, get and him. I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, good. You know what? If it if if that's the case and that's the fucking law, yeah, take them. But go and get the other ones too. Yeah. yeah. That's how I see it, right? I could give a fuck at this point. Do what's right for the first time ever then. If yeah. one person's guilty of doing something, the other people who did the same motherfucking shit and before him should be guilty of it too. Yeah. yeah. Plain and simple. It is, but crazy. that's not what we're seeing. So you can't honestly, as a fucking logically thinking human being, see what's happening and just be like, "Man, good, get that piece of shit." If that's really what he did, mm-hmm. and not think anything of it that they haven't gone after Biden and fucking the Clintons and all these other people who have done all of these things and then some, even worse. Yeah, it, it's mind boggling that human beings are in today's day after what we've experienced the last three years are still that fucking ignorant. It blows my mind. But orange man, bad. Yeah. What a what a the the biggest joke and mockery of American civilization ever has been what we're seeing right now. We're being clowned we by, by our Shit's fucking crazy. government, bro. We're being clowned. It makes you feel so helpless, like as Shit, as, a, yeah. as a U.S. citizen. I like, mean, <clears throat> so go, going back to what we're talking about with the black communities and stuff. Remember, we already talked about this, but Trump wanted to put four hundred million dollars into different communities around the United States. He was going to work with Ice Cube on it. 
Yep. It's called the Platinum Plan. Five hundred million, but yep. Yep. So that, and he wanted four billion to build the wall to secure the border, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That didn't happen, obviously. And that border is wide open. Wide open. And guess what they do at that border that I keep hearing about because I I follow uh, Tim Ballard, mm. who's uh, he's the CEO of Operation Underground Railroad. Yep. That saves traffic children. Yep. He says the border is a hotbed for child trafficking, child sex trafficking, and child slavery. Um, but you know what? That's big business. Mm-hmm. That's big business. So, and um, what, what did uh, Crooked Eye say? He said they want us all to go to prison for that cocaine, but CIA, CIA FBI, those are yo planes. Mm-hmm. Just that's our government to a T, yeah. right there, yeah. bro. They're, they yeah. they are tricking us across the board putting everything into play just like you said the reason why they want to take over everything is because they want all the fucking power in the world right yeah, so they, forever. They, they yeah it's the same thing like i was just like we were talking about the, the marijuana legalization in, in minnesota i was telling you guys about the the meeting i was having to try and get acquire a license i'm learning all this crazy shit and one of the recommendations is to um acquire a license cash flow the business asap because it's going to make millions out the gate and within the f- first couple of years, try to sell that bitch off. Mm-hmm. People are going around buying these fucking retail places for fucking 90 million fucking dollars, bro. So it's like get in, get out. And, and, and I started thinking, I'm like, wait, so there's someone that just goes around to all these states that are legalizing, you know, within a couple of years and starts just trying to because they're trying to build this one big operation. Right. Mm-hmm. Who else would do some shit like that What's besides government? our government, yeah. bro? They want they they're implementing it, making us think it's for us. It's awesome. It's great. It's going to be legalized. Make you. They know there's going to be so much money made off of this shit, right? Yeah. So they they let everyone start it up for them. It's the easiest way for them to implement this, and then they just go through and pretend they're this corporation buying everything up. And before you know it, they own it. They're taxing it. And, I mean, fuck, we're already paying over fifty percent in taxes. We just don't see it that yeah. way, but. Things we get like, taxed like a motherfucker. Oh man, we you know we get taxed at the paycheck. We get taxed when we go buy stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you, it just continues to compound, bro. We're getting taxed more than fifty percent of our fucking wages. Yeah, our living wages. Could you nuts. imagine if we didn't pay a quarter of our taxes? Imagine like if we only paid ten percent tax, bro. Yeah. Imagine if only ten percent of our wealth got to be given to the government, which is the way it was supposed to be yeah. since the beginning. And that actually used. For like infrastructure and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because they passed that infrastructure bill, like fucking five trillion dollars, and all you see is like train crashes, bridges collapsing, <laughs> buildings collapsing. Like if you go yeah. around the country and see all this infrastructure collapsing, that was supposed to be the infrastructure bill that to fix all that shit. Yeah. Uh, where's that yeah. money? It wasn't yeah. enough. Where did that money go? I'll tell you what. If if I get a license. To open a dispensary in Minnesota, I am going to petition that every single penny that the the state or the city makes off of me for, fixes more for taxes, bottles. fix the fucking streets in <laughs> yeah. Moorhead, bro. I am not kidding. Like, you knew that was coming, bro. It's so bad. I just dropped so me there today, it's, man. Bro, I, I like, do it every day. It's Minnesota. God God damn it, yes. Minnesota. Yes. Fuck, it's, it's Minnesota. You know what they do? You know what they do too, bro? They just go and they patch everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's patched. They don't actually patch. fix it. They just patch everything, bro. Dude, that shit will rattle your fucking bolts my, out. Man, my fucking car felt like it was gonna fall apart. Yeah. I had to go to North Fargo to pick up one of Parker's <laughs> friends. Then we carpool him to football in the morning. And I'm driving on the north side of fucking, you know, First Avenue, bro, yeah. like right there. And I'm on the road and it's just like, yeah. like, and that's just the road. It's bad. And I'm like, man, I feel like my fucking Durango's about to fall the fuck Wait, apart. Which is fucking crazy because Minnesota's taxed more than North Dakota, too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Where's I pay all that hella money? taxes Where's in that Minnesota, fucking bro. Money going bad. I pay, you know how much it costs just to do to renew my tabs, bro? Like Expensive. over almost 500 bucks to yeah. renew. The, the, their taxes are insane. I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Yeah, Holy they're insane. Shit. They're insane. When we got my son's car, like we had to have Laura come get on it too because they wanted to, you know, license tax and license it for Minnesota because that's where I live. So we had to put her on it just to make sure that he could do it in fucking North Dakota, bro. Uh-huh. He lives with his mom majority yeah. of the time anyway. But I was helping him buy the car, and so I was like, no way, bro. I'm not gonna give you Minnesota licensing. You gotta, you gotta pay have your mom much come money. do it the yeah. right way because. It would have been so expensive. People keep voting for the same thing. Like they, they make you pay license and tabs based on um, the size of the vehicle mm-hmm. and based on the, the value price. of the car when you bought it, bro. So if you own a car from like fucking 1999, you're paying your license and fees based on that time mm-hmm. frame. Wow. 
It's nuts, bro. Their it's their taxes are insane. To have such a shitty city like structurally is embarrassing because um, we pay so much what in is, taxes. Uh, uh, Kevin O'Leary said said it was a piece of shit. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, he was. He was, he said it was a shit hole. He was basically like, yeah, yeah, North Dakota is so amazing, and to be that close to such a piece of garbage, basically, he was. He, he was so on it, hard. it was it, bad. But he, he, he's telling the truth. I mean, it, it if comes they would have never policies. legalized marijuana, I'd sell my house and move. But yeah. <laughs> now I gotta just buy another house somewhere else and keep that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's crazy, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, look, we could probably end this right now. I know Dion has to get out of here and, and go help his brother move now. It's been an hour. That was just a pretty chill conversation. Was, we talked yeah. about some some pretty decent shit, though, and, and a lot of stuff that matters. Sometimes we, we get in serious mode, and it's not all fucking funny. But you guys should really look into what's going on in the world around us because I think we're into, to, we're going to see some really crazy shit happen in the coming 18 months. Stay like, strapped or get clapped. Yeah, I'd say uh, let us know uh, if you'd rather fight a bear or a gorilla. I'd like to know in the comments. So. Yeah, comment more and tell us. We'll, we'll talk about it on the next show. <laughs> and if somebody comes in hard enough, we'll bring them on sometime. Bring them on. That'd yeah, be yeah. fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, tell your friends about us. Talk good, talk bad. Doesn't matter. Just make sure you talk about us. And we are out. Oh.